Hey guys! So I'd like to show you my travel collection or my luxury travel collection. It doesn't include my Samsonite luggage, which is holding all of my skinny girl clothes in the closet. I have four. I have a set of the big Samsonite um, and the carry-on in black and then again in maroon, but I don't use them clearly. They're just for storage. <laughs> so I have everything on my bed. It's a mess. So I'm gonna just pull out some pieces. I did buy a bunch of Gucci um, luggage in 2008 and I never ever used it, not once, never. And now that I'm older and I'm actually gonna be traveling a lot, I'm gonna be using it. But this is one of the pieces. Everything was like 700 to 900 dollars. It was either 695 or 895 because that's all I could afford at the time. And I bought like five pieces. Um, and I think it came out to like $3,500 or something. This was again, 2008. These prices are probably doubled by now, or if not more. So this is a travel duffel from Gucci. Everything I bought on Gucci.com. Um, just so you can see. I mean, like, I don't, I'm not going to go and show you every single piece because this is not a deep video. This is like real luggage but I still have all of the stuffing in there from when I first got it there's only one pocket on the inside and I never use this just because I feel like for a carry-on you want to carry as much as possible I might be able to pull this off now as a pocketbook but it's pretty big for a pocketbook you know and then I feel like if you pack it you're not gonna want to carry this even if you have a husband or a boyfriend like I don't want to do that to him this is the only one I still keep in the box. This is what the boxes looked like back then. Um, and then, then I have my receipts. I can't believe I kept this. Huh. Anyways, um, that was like the biggest, I think I sent myself a note that said I love you. Cause I did love it. And I still love myself. They all come in their bags, their respective bags, but I just took them out for the sake of the video. Um, this is another one. So the whole point was that I would be matching or like me and my bow would be matching. So this would be my pocketbook. This would be my carry-on. And then I would have like my Samsonite luggage, um, you know, or whatever it was that I had at the time. So this is just a giant tote. And I did buy another one that was like half the size, but I returned it because you see I have big arms. It just didn't look right under my arm. So then I got the, the longer one, it was this short. And then I returned it for this one, I exchanged it. They were the same price. How is it that it's this much leather and it's the same price? And again, it has a pocket. And it, what's in here, there's something in here. Oh, my business cards. <laughs> oh, and then like the Controlado thing. Oh, this one was $4.85 that I got. Um, and there was, a t there was a time that Gucci did have clearance items. They don't do that anymore. Now they have an outlet store. But there was a time where at the end of every season, you can get stuff at almost 50% off. And I did. That's how I got all this stuff. This one, I think I did pay the $45 for, though. But there are some other items that you could get, like, some really good discounts on at the end of the season. They don't do that anymore. Um, and this is what the inside of the box looks like. Not that anybody cares, but. So this was like my first luxury purchase and I actually kept the ribbon that everything was tied. Like they tied everything with the red and green ribbon that said Gucci on it. And I kept that ribbon for like 10 years. I think I just got rid of it like two years ago. There's a lot of dust and I'm allergic to dust. So those are two pieces. This one I bought because when I worked in the jewelry industry, I had a client that had this in a dark chocolate brown. And when I saw it, I was like, <gasps> I went home that day and I bought it the same exact day. And this is the only one I had left. So this is like a huge carry on. Um, it came with, I guess this is like the luggage tag. It has this, what does it say? GGS9109. And then this strap to put, I guess your luggage card in. Can you? Yeah, back here. Or your business card. 
This is what the inside looks like. I'm not, I can't believe I haven't used this one. I'm probably going to use before everything. Uh, it just has a zipper compartment. Can I put anything in here? I'm so surprised. Put a, maybe I did use this. Put a comb in here. Again, it comes with like these little cards. Another controlado thing. I haven't opened these things in years. United Airlines. I guess maybe I did. Oh, I did. I used this when I went to Uberversity, I think. Oh my God, everything's falling out. Yeah, San Francisco. So I used to be the office manager at Uber in New York City. <laughs> in case y'all did not know, I'm that chick. Uh, when they first opened. So they were here for a year. Then that second year, let me just grab what fell on the floor. I was the office manager and the TLC specialist. So I helped all the drivers that came in trying to get onto Uber, um, fill out their TLC applications. And I did. Oh, and then I was a assistant to the uh, director of operations. So I was a director of operations assistant. I had like four roles in that office. These motherfuckers. Um, <laughs> I don't love Uber. I will only use Lyft and Via. I only use Uber for Uber Eats because there's some places that they go that no one else goes. Um, and if I travel, but I have no respect for the company because I do not like the way they treated me when I left. Um, but anyway, that's Uber. They were very, there's lawsuits, lots of lawsuits now. So anyways, um, yeah, so I got this one and I love it and it looks really, really good on. Like it's just a giant gargantuan bag, like probably talked about too much I shouldn't have told you all that stuff but whatever it's the truth it's my life this thing is bigger than I am look look from here to here <laughs> so yeah when I saw that she had this it was like she called it her overnight bag um I fell in love and I went ahead and I bought it right away like that love this bag I really do I'm gonna this is the one I'm probably gonna wear more often than the other one there's one more oh this is the one that every man stops me and compliments me on this one I've used a lot so I don't know why Gucci doesn't make stuff like this anymore look at this isn't it gorgeous like and the strap goes like this this is a well-made piece they don't even make it like this anymore right so it, it like clips onto there whatever the inside is plaid which I think is absolutely stunning and gorgeous I got bubble gum on it it's either bubble gum or toothpaste I can't remember but I did use this a lot. I use this in Italy. I use this. Whenever I travel to Europe, I try to use it because it's the only time I think people will appreciate it. And every time I'm in line, a guy will stop me and be like, I love your bag. This is the Gucci print. All of this is real stuff. I paid, I worked my freaking ass off. <laughs> and I paid for all of this luggage. Like I worked my butt off so much. Like if I wanted something, I was like, how much do I need? Okay, how many hours of overtime do I need to do? And what do I need to cut out? And then I don't know why they do this, but you can like clip these things together. I guess to cinch the I don't know why you would do that. Um, I guess you could put makeup bags on them and clip them on there if you wanted. I really do love the interior though. It's so pretty. I swear if Gucci Gucci, if there's a Gucci representative out there, first of all, send me some stuff, right? Like a lot of stuff, please. Secondly, make more bags like this. This is beautiful. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I have one more luxury piece. And then some Dooney and Burke and some other stuff if you guys want to keep watching. So this one is... It's a, it's a bandolier or something. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not bandolier. I don't know, but it's Louis Vuitton. Let me open it. I do have to stuff this one because so it's like the canvas on the inside. This is again real. I don't mess around with bags. Like I just the DH Gate stuff that you guys are seeing now. Like I got into DH Gate in 1998, 20 something years ago when it first opened up. Well, that I remember. DH Gate and eBay. Then 10 years after that, in 2008, I got into DH Gate again. There's just like two items that I have from there, and then. Now I got into it again, but I'm probably going to get out of it because I really do prefer luxury stuff. I really do prefer nice things. 
Um, I don't mind working hard and paying for it, but right now I'm trying to save money to buy a house. So you see how it's patining, but you see it got wet. And uh, it's not in the works right now. What is this for? Oh, it keeps them together. So if you want to like, um, there is nothing in here. There's no, nothing. I don't know which one this is. It's a big one. I mean, look at how big I am. It's like that big. <laughs> I think it's the biggest one that they have. Um, my mom wants this. I refuse to give it up. My mom used to have every single Louis Vuitton luggage piece that existed. My mom was like, she, she, bougie, forget it. This is just a leather piece that I bought on eBay. I thought it was gorgeous. And I literally have used this a lot. It's full leather. Um, it's not alligator, but it is beautiful. It has two giant pockets in the front. I don't even know the name of the designer. Like, does it say anything in here? The limited, <laughs> but it looks good, right? <laughs> And it has like all of this storage space. Like it's the best bag I've ever used. I use this all the time. And the guy that I travel with, because he has a travel group, so he always invites me. And I, there's like nine of us that travel together all over the world. I've been to like 17 or 13 countries with them or something like that. Um, but like 20 something trips. Oh, this off. I don't like it when things hang off my bag. Um, but it just looks so good on. Like anywhere you go, you use this as, this is my weekend bag. So if I go away for the weekend, I'll use this. Um, if I'm going to like the Hamptons or Long Beach Island or like, I've never been to Fire Island, but I really want to go. Um, I would use that for like a weekend. This is my gym bag. This is Stella McCartney and Adidas. Adidas, right? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. It's pretty. And it has the strap. Um, all my gym stuff is in there. I mean, like, if you guys want me to do what's in my bag, I'll show you what's in my gym bag. I'll show you what's in my um, travel bag. And then this is Cleo Bella, I think it is. Hold on, let me just double check. I don't want to tell you something if it's not. It has a zipper. Yeah, Cleo Bella. Which I think is part of anthropology. But it's just such a beautiful duffel bag. Isn't that pretty? It's just so pretty expensive for no reason but I just thought it was huge it was great it's perfect to pack in your luggage so like if you're gonna go traveling you pack this in case you buy too much and then you don't have to buy luggage when you're there you just take this out fill it up and then you have an extra carry-on um, or I could say that's my pocketbook and then I have a carry-on but now the laws are different but back then it was more flexible uh, dun, 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 dun. This is Ralph Lauren Polo. This is like the one I think that you get with like a perfume or something. Um, I do carry this one a lot. Again, as one of those um, extra pieces of luggage because I do shop a lot when I travel. And like, so what I do, I like to take um, hair straps, wear it like this. I really, really like it. I do like to bring clothes that I was gonna donate anyway, stuff that I might have thrown out. I wear it on the trip, throw it out on the trip, so that when I come home, I have um, more room in my luggage. This I bought in Thailand because that happened. I bought a lot of stuff. I needed luggage to come back home. And they so were selling this and I was like, oh, that looks like Bottega Veneta, but it's not. But everyone thinks it is. And I don't know why, because Bottega Veneta never made anything like this. Like, yeah, it has the woven pattern. But I don't think this looks like Bottega Veneta. You know, like, I get it has the woven pattern, but, like, you know, and it's, it's double colored. So it's brown on this side and black on the other. I mean, it is very well made. But the reason I bought it is because even on vacation, I was like, oh, I'm going to look good when I get on that plane. And this is well made. It's like, I looked, and it was like, you see... See how, how sturdy that's? So I was like, okay, they're leather straps. They're real leather. I did the test, you know? I was like, okay, this is going to hold weight. And then I bought it. And I have used that a lot. Then I have my Dooney and Burke stuff. Hmm. I had, oh, here it is. This is my weekender bag. My overnight. This is an overnight bag. Only overnight. Because nothing, not a lot of stuff will fit in here. I like it because it has this removable pouch. It's really pretty. This is like a very luxe feeling piece. And I always have a hair clip in there and a maxi pad. Um, 
There's another, you could put it, I guess, another pouch on that side. I bought this, oh, I know there's a stain in there, sorry guys. I bought this at the Dooney and Burke tent sale. I bought two of them, so I have two. I have one that I've never opened. Well, actually it was my mom's, but I bought it from her. Um, and then I have this one. And this is literally my favorite overnight bag. Like I get so many compliments on it. It's so pretty in luxe. It's Dooney and Burke. It was a $300 bag that they were selling for 99 and I got it and I this is the overnight I always this is my only overnight bag the other ones are too big so I use them as weekend bags but that's my overnight bag and then this is my other Dooney and Burke I love this so much that I bought again the second one my mom had this was also $99 um I can do a what's in my travel bag this is always pre-packed always so if I'm going on a trip all I know I got to do is put in some outfits. I don't have to worry about anything else. All my hair products. Like, I'll do a what's in my travel bag video if you guys want. Let me know. But this is my duffel bag. And the reason I love it is because it has this and it has wheels. So, I could use it as a duffel bag if I want to. Like, like you know, sometimes you go to foreign countries and they have, like, cobblestone. Cobblestones. You know what I mean? Or, like, you're going through. Well, I do. I like to travel with my travel friends that are very adventurous. And they'll have like rocky roads. Like you can't really take luggage and like drag it. So sometimes you have to pick it up. And I just think it's easy to just put this on my shoulders when I need to. And then I could drop it and then roll it when I need to. So it's a rolling duffel bag. This is literally my favorite piece of luggage I, that I have ever owned in the existence of my life. I have had this well over 10 years and it's still going. I have traveled everywhere. I've been to 27 countries. And I think this has gone with me to most of them. Um, it's a lot. Like, and I still have a brand new one. I have another one. <laughs> because when I love something, I like to buy two or more. Like these earrings. They're fantastic. I bought a second pair. I'm thinking about buying two more in case anything ever happens to them. Because they're so pretty. Or like if somebody I know wants one. So you guys know about this and the ear cuffs. The links for these things are in earlier videos. I think it's like video 30 or 31 and then this is in the video right before this this thing um and then i think that's all my oh and my backpack i don't know what this is i'll just show you the logo i've never used i didn't even know this was in here hmm. who knew what is this let's see oh you can put shoes in here why would you why would this be in here I don't know, but it says, it says t-shirts and shoes. I don't know what this pouch is for. Uh, maybe it extends, maybe if I want to open it and extend the back to, I don't know, that's weird. I didn't even notice that. So this is my travel bag when I have a laptop. So if I know I have my laptop, I will bring this as my carry, as my personal item or backpack, and then a carry-on. And it's this brand. M. I just put M backpack and then you could find it. I'll see if I could find one very similar to it. But I love it. I have all my travel stuff in there. These are my travel snacks. I'll do what's in my travel backpack and my headphones. So this is what I keep in the front. And then usually like a puzzle book. I love to do puzzles. I sleep on the plane, but like if I'm bored. And then I always have one of my pens in there. Uh, extra battery pack rolling thing and then some hair stuff and then you can put a bunch of stuff in there I really love this backpack this is like the best backpack I've ever had uh, nah for travel and then of course you have these things on the side to put your water I think this one's ripped yeah <coughs> that's it <coughs> lots of dust I literally pulled all this stuff out of my closet uh, just now. So then you have the padded part on the back for the laptop and a really big giant compartment here. What is this? I hope my address is on there. Oh, it's my pin number, which I don't have that credit card anymore, so it didn't matter. And then another compartment, I guess, if you have a tablet or something. And then another little compartment here. And then this, this is literally my favorite backpack literally ever ever and I have a lot of stuff like I have 
There's lots of stuff. Like this is just the beginning of in a peek into my closet. This is just the travel stuff. And I'm sure there's more travel stuff up there. I just don't feel like pulling everything down. I really don't. So there you go. I'm going to start putting everything back in their respective bags. This is what the Gucci bag looks like. It has the Gucci tag. Well, it's upside down, but whatever. And then it has these little things that you pull to tighten it. And I worked my ass off for that stuff, guys. I really did. I've worked so hard in my life. I can't wait for all the rewards to come in. All right, well, thank you for sticking with me till the end. Um, the next one I'm going to do is probably my luxury, mm, I don't know, something bags. Um, I have 150 bags. That was only like, what, 10? And that's just my travel stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about 10 bags. And then I have, um, and then I have backups. And then, yeah, I'm just going to shut up because I just, I could talk forever. I could talk.